Hey, what's up everyone? Today's tool review is gonna feature the Mag Torch right here. This is the Mag Fire 500,000 BTUs. This thing looks awesome. So my plan for this video is to show you how I hooked this up for the very first time to a 20 pound LP tank and how I adjust it. There's a few tips I think you're gonna to wanna to know. I reviewed some other tools like this before and some people said they had a hard time getting the pressure regulated. So I'm gonna walk through that right there. And my plan for this video is to go outside while there's a little bit of snow. So the weather here in Michigan is warming up pretty fast. Even though it's early March, the snow that's out there right now probably won't be here in a few days. So while I have an opportunity to show you how this melts, some ice that I have on the north side of my house. I'm gonna do that and then hopefully when it's not so windy, I have some <laughs> some things I'm gonna burn. So right now with the high wind, it's not a good situation. But for melting ice, this is gonna be a good day for that. So let's get started hooking this up. check it out this is a 20 pound LP tank I just picked this up at Home Depot I haven't even used it yet all right so I have this protective cap on there so I took that off so now we're gonna open this package right here I just love these end nippers right here these work really well for cutting those little ties all right there's that All right, so I'm guessing this is probably like a 10 foot hose. I'll have the details down below in case it's a little bit longer or shorter. And then you have this little clicker lighter right here. I apologize for the wind, but this is Michigan after all. Okay, so the hookup is very simple. There's no regulator or anything like that needed. So you just take this end right here, put that in the tank. That's the reverse thread, so going counterclockwise right now. So you want it nice and snug, but don't over tighten it. Oh, that is a reverse thread. I did not know that, interesting. Okay, that feels snug. So they recommend that you close that right there, open this up, and then spray some soap water, like some Dawn dishwashing soap water, pour it on here, or spray it on there, and see if it bubbles up. If it doesn't, then you're good to go. So according to the instructions, they say to open this slowly right here. So I just did that slowly. You hear a little bit of gas go in, and then open it up all the way. I'd say at least a couple turns. And then right here, I did have that part closed, just so you know. So then I'm gonna open that slowly. And when you open that slowly, then you can press this lever right here, and we should hear some sound coming out. Okay, it sounds like quite a bit of gas. Let's see how this goes. Whoa, that was awesome. All right. What I like about this right here is it continues to have a flame going. I've had another brand where it doesn't have a pilot light like that, so that's awesome. All right, I'm liking this. Definitely liking this. All right, let's go melt some ice. <laughs> As you can see here, the snow is starting to melt with the flame. The water's kind of rolling out underneath. And this is just a section of the bottom of the steps. I'm not gonna do the whole sidewalk. Here's a pilot light, what it looks like. Now I'm gonna pull the trigger and you just see that blue flame shooting out, it's just awesome. We're gonna take that flame and we're gonna burn some of this moss that's starting to grow on the edge of my rock landscape. We just burn it, it's better than putting weed killer down that my dog can get into. And here is a two foot section from my old Christmas tree. I'm just showing you how easy it is to get that started Let's say you have a campfire or some kind of bonfire you want to get going. This has been out in the rain all week. We had 
quite a bit of rain, so you can just see how easy it is to get a fire started with the mag torch. So I'm in the wooded area of my property, and right through here in the springtime and the summer, there's just a ton of poison ivy. So if you happen to see anything like that, do not burn it, because it ends up getting in the smoke going up in the air. Those poisons, if you breathe it in, it goes into your lungs, and it's a bad situation. So just, if you're burning weeds, study what you're burning first, so you don't have any health issues. So I've had a chance now to put the Mag Torch Magfire Plus to the test. I'm not sure if I mentioned the model number, but here it is, MT5500. And one thing to point out, it runs on these three tank sizes, 20, 40, or 100 pound LP tanks. And as they show here, a pilot flame and a full force flame. So the one thing about the pilot flame, it does work really well if it's not too windy out, but if you happen to turn this right here, right into the wind, it'll blow it out and you have to relight it. So I found a good idea to keep this in your back pocket because you just never know when this is gonna go out. So if there's any way that this could be improved, I think the only thing is if the pilot light would stay lit in high wind conditions, that's about it. But it's really not a big deal to quick light this. And I think for the most part, you're probably gonna be running the flame most of the time, burning stuff, you're not walking around too much with the pilot light on. So to me, that's not a big deal, but that's just a minor thing I can think of. So I was thinking back to when I first purchased the torch. The reason was actually for a construction project. We were doing a remodel on a flat roof and there's that rolled roofing that you buy. And I remember talking to them and they said, well, you're gonna have to apply heat to it. So they sold me something like this too. So the thing I remember about that old torch, it seemed like it would take a couple minutes to try to regulate the pressure to get it just right. So it really breathe out the fire. So the trick that I found with this one right here, just opening the tank slowly and then pulling that that right there to light it and it just seemed like it worked really well and if you want to check this out on the home depot website i will have a link down below that you can read all the comments i believe it has a 4.8 star review which is amazing with over 100 people reviewing it and i have to read you my favorite comment from a review someone said this thing breathes fire like a dragon and they're not kidding it just really works well as you can see in my video it just every time i light it it's just ready to go right now with the fire that you need one thing to point out if you see this right here i did have some paint start to peel off of it and that's just bound to happen after running such high heat so after i was melting ice for about 10 minutes straight that probably just got so hot that the paint started to work its way off. So I just took a disposable shop rag with a little WD-40 on it and just wiped it off to prevent that from rusting so much. So just a little preventive maintenance tip that you can do. One thing I want to recommend if you're doing some burning, have a game plan in mind in case things start catching fire that you don't want to. So either have like a garden hose or a bucket or a fire extinguisher. Just a good idea to be safe because there's so many people I see in the news where all of a sudden a field catches fire. I don't know how it happens, but it's just a good idea to have a good game plan in mind whenever you're burning stuff. So I'm definitely happy with this. If you have any questions, if there's something I left out, please let me know. I'll be happy to respond. So my goal this video is to help you guys out by putting this to the test so you can see if it's right for you in case you're considering the purchase of it. So if you find this video review interesting, helpful, informative, please give it a thumbs up and help support my channel. That's it friends, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.